Hello, welcome once again to Invictus Motors. Today we will be reviewing this Tesla Model S 60. Tesla, we begin from the exterior. This is in solid black. I just love the look of the front of the Tesla with the design uh, that is so fluid on the front headlights, the um, bumper lip and the front bumper. It's got a very sporty, classy look that grabs a lot of attention. It's got the Tesla sign here. It's got 19 inch front and rear alloys. The uh, side mirrors are aerodynamic. The handles at a press of a button, they come out and I think it's just a wonderful piece of engineering and design. It's got the swooping arches at the back to again give it this sporty, classy look. And then, you know, a Tesla isn't really complete without talking about the fact that it hasn't got a combustion engine at the, at, the, at the front. It's got a boot which offers you loads of space from a practical point of view. And it doesn't have a gearbox either. So that means you get even more space. And then at the rear, it's just loads of space again to put your luggage and suitcases in should you want to be going out on a holiday or you got something coming up is how a car should really be designed up to date with the 21st century but you know what let's talk about the basic stuff this is part leather part fabric which i think is perfect because leather can get really cold in the winter and very wet and hot in the summer it's got the 17 inch touchscreen display it's got the electrically adjustable switch for the steering wheel the steering wheel is a flat bottom steering wheel which gives which offers uh, a very nice grip and a really nice feel when you hold it in your hand the rear view mirror has got a very nice classy look to it it's just a mirror there's not plastic trimming around it it's i mean in terms of spec uh i think let's talk about the 17 inch screen that screen right here in the center allows you to control the whole car open the front boot open the rear boot open the electric point i mean open the doors you can turn this screen into uh, a Mars planet for your kids to, you know, m move uh, a Mars rover around on. It's got Google Earth, uh, Google Maps. Um, you know, you can browse the internet with it. It's got a, a sketchpad to draw on it. Um, it sh should you be in a romantic mood with the other half, uh, you can actually touch, change that 17 inch screen into a fireplace. I mean, this is just a few of the things. I mean, the possibilities of what that can do, other than what, what I've explained, is uh, limitless, really. Um, I love the fact that there's no clutter right, right here with a gear stick or with a handbrake. It's just a nice uh, open space to put your phone or to put your water or to put your coffee or to put whatever you want to put in this space or in here. Um, you've got a nice ha hand rest. I mean, you know, two people can easily put their hand rest there. In terms of space, there is so much space being able to sit here as a uh, passenger or you know, being able to adjust your seat here as a driver. Now if I was to jump into the back. Don't work, Adam. Sorry, I forgot to unlock the door, but now onto the back. I mean, there's so much space here. I, you, you actually saw how far back I moved that seat but still there is plenty of leg room here and you know if, if you're a driver I mean you don't need to be coming all the way back there's even more room there the fact that the battery is 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 is, is, is basically on the base of the car and it hasn't got a lot of moving components as you would find in a combustion engine with you know things wires moving everywhere uh, so so you get this really nice clean clear cut platform uh, that is able to provide you with loads of room space and uh, a space that is airy roomy and a space that you can be happy and satisfied with and this is to me what a tesla is really about the rear boot in a tesla is phenomenally massive i mean look at the space here and then should you need even more space this this car just lifts up this is where your charger is but you could easily put your hiking boots or shoes or you know your archery ball whatever it may be um, I love this thing I genuinely do but let's get in it and talk about performance our special mention for this video is can we just take a minute to appreciate the design of the key this looks beautiful I just love looking at it and every time I see it, it puts a smile on my face. This Tesla Model S 60 offers 233 miles of range. The 
first thing when you mention electric to somebody they ask about the range and 233 miles is more than anyone will ever need for any commute they're doing for at least you know a couple of days now in terms of brake horsepower this offers 285 brake horsepower 440 newton meters of torque and that torque is available at pretty much zero rpm the top speed on this is 120 miles per hour the not to 62 miles per hour is is possible in 5.8 seconds and it's able to give you basically you know all of this in a car that simply weighs 2108 kilograms total this tesla has two owners from new in terms of service history or maintenance history well one doesn't need it really in a tesla because they don't have as many moving parts as you would find in a combustion engine where you've got to worry about water pumps and cam bolts and oil pumps and fuel pumps and gearbox and all these unnecessary things that we spend money on every single day one would say but on an electric car it has its cons but overall the biggest pro is definitely the fact the maintenance cost is significantly reduced due to the fact that it doesn't have an engine and not it, it doesn't have all these moving parts in terms of tires discs and pads they're all in very good condition on this car of driving experience how can we not talk about how powerful these cars are in terms of speed just touching that accelerator pedal now it's just gone it's just at about 60 miles per hour in no time didn't require any effort whatsoever I've also noticed that the uh, glasses both uh, insulated really really well so the inside space is nice and quiet and also very well heated in terms of how it handles on the road it grips really well and the handling I must say is so superior to so many other conventional standard combustion engine cars Tesla pros are way too many think of an electric car what do you think of Tesla that's because the range is excellent that's one if you live in the city you don't have to worry about congestion charge and all the other fines etc it's got zero road tax that's just to name a few but let's talk about comfort and being able to get into your car well you can actually cool the car on a warm day before you even get into the car or on a cold day you can warm the car before you get into the car simply from the comfort of your mobile phone